Hi, my name's Dee Ramirez, and I've been challenged by the Tool Room team to create a vocal hook using the new House Vocals Volume 2 pack, and I have exactly 10 minutes to do it. Oof, no pressure. Um, not only have I got to uh, find the vocal hook, but then I've got to manipulate it in a unique way um, to create something new. Oof, wish me luck. Here we go. I'm just going to give you a quick play of the actual loop that I'm working on here. It's just sort of a typical kind of... There we go. Now, I'm not going to take too much, pay too much attention to the key of this. I think the key that we are working in actually is in F minor, typical sort of key. So, but I don't really care because I can actually, once I've found the vocal, I can manipulate and change the bass line to, to fit the key of the actual track. So we're good. I'm, I'm not gonna care about that. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna go to this view here. I'm gonna go to session view. And I'm gonna go to my vocal. I, this is my template that I use for everything. So I've got these tracks already set up. All right, and let's just play some of the tracks. Let's just play some of the vocal uh, loops. I don't really like that. She, I, mean, I love the vocal performance, but that doesn't really work with the track. I think this kind of track as well needs something quite uh, big. We want a bit more of a sort of um, commanding delivery on this one, so. I'm loving that. Now that is in D major, which is clearly not F minor, but it seems to work quite nice with that bass line. So that's an option there. Uh, hook, yeah, I like that one. Oh, that's nice. That's a bit more of a big stereo one. Okay, I like that one. Let's get that. So I'm going to drop that in. That is currently at one, two, four. My tempo. Oh, I've gone to one, two, six. It's fast. Okay, great. That hook actually really works with the track. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this view to manipulate this vocal. So. If I drop this down here, so this is my main hook, I'm gonna copy it down underneath here and this is where I can get funky and start to create some little interesting loops. And I do it like this, I press play here. So I can create little loops here. If I drag across like that, I can create loops. So like that, Command L and it will loop indefinitely around whatever section I have selected. So if I go between one and 1.1 there, now, what I can do also is if I select this loop brace here, if I quickly flick through using the arrow keys, you will get some really interesting loops. Beautiful. And you can get these kind of things kind of going on. So I could copy that down. I can do another one. Awesome. Another thing we can do as well is we can create a little loop. So I'm going to take this sweet. So I'm going to copy this one over here. I'm going to create a sort of atmosphere loop. Sweet, 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 sweet. If I do this. So if I do this. <laughs> sounds like tweet. Cool. I'm going to put some sidechain on there using uh, the Duck by Devious Machines, one of my favorite plugins here. Let's get that on there and let's, let's sidechain it. And let's pan it. Auto pan using the Ableton Auto Pan. Let's go there. Okay. Uh, auto filter. Actually, auto filter will be cool for this. We can do this. We can add some. LFO to it, set that to sync to the tempo at uh, two bars like this, put the uh, drive, the phase into the middle and it should pan from left to right. Nice, let's do it quicker. 
A bit of reverb as well always works on these kind of things. A reverb will do. Uh, the Ableton reverb is perfect for this. Let's do that before the filter. <laughs> Duck needs to go at the end just to uh... awesome. Really low on there. Maybe. Cool. That's our Atmos Vox. Let's continue to keep working on those. We can do a few of those actually. If I copy this down here, I can flick through these and see what else we can get. Get loads of these, these are really cool. Once you've got this set up, you can just flick through. Now you can do these funky little sort of one and a half bar loops or sort of three beat loops, which gives you like a polyrhythm. That's kind of cool. All right. I like that a lot. Yeah, let's take some of this high out of the reverb. It's a little bit too. Awesome. And then add that to these little loops. Awesome. Let's try some of those. That could be nice. Let me make that a little bit longer. So. So you get these funky loops, which you would never really be able to find if you were just flicking through in the arrangement. So. So I'm going to change maybe the the pitch of this as well. Let's try doing that. I'll put it into Complex Pro. Now, if you go down minus five, that would be a perfect fifth. So that will be in the same key. Oh, let's try seven. Let's go down an octave. Let's try an octave and then we can do. Let's duplicate that track and then we can have one that's at the normal pitch. That's going to be there. Cool, now let's get it into the track. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm eight minutes in. Ah. Right, so to get this in there now, we're just gonna drop this into here. I'm gonna put my, in the, in the loop section, this is gonna be my Atmos loop. Pull that out there like that. Look at this, this is the. That's on the wrong channel. Let me just name this because I can't see what it is. Atmos, okay. <laughs> No, it's this one, vocal two, that's the Atmos. So the pressure's on, the pressure's on. Cool, that one, that one there, and the Atmos loop, yeah. Awesome, get rid of that one. And then that can keep going through there. And then I'm gonna just drag this out here, drag these two out. Ooh, yeah, there we go, up to there like that. Oh, that can be there in the drop before the little thing. So we're going to go. Cool, I like that. And then we can go Sweet Temptation on there. We can go. So. And then we can have Tation, Tation, Temptation. This is that loop there. 
cool. So let's get, maybe just cut that out a little bit. Ha, and my 10 minutes is up. Yay, I think we've got something pretty cool. Okay, so this is what we've got. Um, oof, in the very uh, small amount of time that I had to do this, what we've got here is I've created a, like a little breakdown using my atmosphere vocal. There you go. <laughs> how to create something different to what's there, but utilizing the samples that you've got in the house vocals volume two.